In this session, we will learn one of the most important knowledge in digital electronics, that is Boolean theorem. This theorem is a convenient and systematic way of expressing and analyzing the operation of logic circuit. Besides, uh, we also use uh, Boolean theorem mainly in digital logic simplifications using its various uh, rules or laws and we also use boolean theorem when we build a logical circuit from a logical expression so uh, this is very important for us to really understand the operation and the laws involved by a Boolean theorem. Mathematics can be divided into a lot of branches, but in these charts, it shows only a few of them, such as calculus, algebra, and statistics. Boolean algebra is another branch in mathematics which was introduced by George Boole in 1847. Boolean algebra used um, symbols that represent logical quantity known as variable. The variable can only take two possible values. One is zero and the other one is one. There are only two possible values. As for the symbol for variable, we can use any letters, preferably uppercase letter, to represent this variable. This is an example of how uh, we can use the symbols to represent um, logical quantity which is known as variable. For example, we have a logical quantity such as temperature, motion, humidity, and alarm. We can use a symbol such as P, Q, R, or X to represent each of the logical quantity. For example, P for temperature. And then another term or definition that I would like you to remember uh, when dealing with Boolean algebra is uh, a term which is called as complement. Basically, complement is the inverse of the variable. Okay, so previously we learned about node gates, so it is uh, the same thing. So we can also use a bar on top of the symbol to represent the complement. Elementary Boolean algebra has four basic operations, which is addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Whereas in Boolean algebra, it has only two operations, namely addition and multiplication. In Boolean algebra, addition is equivalent to all operation and its basic rules are according to all gate operation. So these are the list of Boolean addition. And if you see here, it's completely similar to what we learned in truth table for all operation. Any all operation without an operation involved is called sum term. So this term is only evolved or operation without an operation. So we call it as one sum term. And this one is another sum term with three inputs. This is another sum term with two variables. And the last one is also sum term with two variables. A sum term is equal to one when at least one variable 
in the term is 1 so if at least 1 is equal to 1 so the sum term will become 1 so in this case 1 uh, at 1 at 1 at 0 is equal to 0 and the sum term is equal to 0 when all of the inputs or variable is 0 so this is a basic of boolean addition in contrast to boolean addition multiplication in boolean algebra is equivalent to n operation and its basic rules are according to n gate operation so the basic rules for multiplication is totally equivalent to n gate truth table any n operation without or operation involved is called product term so this time so only involve n operation without any or operation and each of these is called product term so this is a product term with three variables product terms with four variables a product term is equal to one when all variables in the term are one so if all the terms variables equal to one then the product terms will become one if any of the term of the variable in the product term is equal to zero like this one so the product terms will become zero in any digital system or digital circuit the mathematical equations that represent the digital circuit is called as boolean expression so the boolean expression will only have a value of either zero or one so in this following example there are two boolean expression one is z and the other one is q both are boolean expressions but use a different representation the first z use a sum term as is in this uh, boolean expression and the second one use a product terms format so since the each of the variable here within the expression only take the value of zero or one so the expression from z and q can only have the possibility of zero and one it will only be either zero or one let's have a look at this example of how to find the boolean algebra expression for this logic circuit the logic circuit has two inputs and one output with three different gates in order to find boolean expression for this circuit we start from the input side on the left then we follow the input signal lines to each of the logic gates until we reach the output the output from the first gate is taken from the end gate so we have here a and b so similarly with the same step we have output from second gate and we fit both of this input into the last gate and finally we have this boolean expression for these circuits then in order for us to um, verify the functionality of our circuit we can build a uh, truth table so we have two input here a and b and the output from each of the gates and this is the q which is the last expression for the circuit and by uh, replacing all the input combination to this uh, final uh, boolean expression 
then we have the output value for each of the input combination a second example of uh, how to find a boolean expression for logic circuits so if we follow the previous steps so we supposedly uh, find out uh, this kind of uh, output for each of stages if we start from here we have three inputs a b c and then at the end we'll find out the final expression for uh, this circuit and based on this uh, brilliant expression then we can draw our truth table based on three inputs a b c all right and then output from each of the gates and then we get the final expression output here. as explained earlier boolean algebra is useful in simplification of complex expression by using its rules so please take note that uh, the expression that we obtain from a logic circuit previously is usually not in the optimum shape. Uh, thus, um, we can use a Boolean algebra to further simplify the complex Boolean expression and by this way, it will directly help us to reduce the number of logic gates required to build the logic circuits. So here are the list of Boolean rules that can be utilized to simplify a Boolean expressions that we'll do in another lesson. So we have a number of rules here such as identity, null, idempotent and so on and so forth. And we also have what we call as the Morgan's law. As an example, identity law state that any variables that be ended with one is equal to that variable itself. Or any variable that is ended with zero is equal to zero. These are some of the examples of rules that will be uh, utilized in order for us to simplify our boolean expression so that's it for this lesson so we'll continue for another lesson soon thank you